I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like it's just a little bit below freezing, at least in the shade. That's nothing. Watch out for them leaves. They're slippery. Well, good morning, YouTube. This is my Kaylee 7. And uh, my mileage is 26,562 on this beautiful December 19th morning at 8.49 a.m. What is, what is my tire situation here? Can I remember? 36, 35, 184 till empty, so I'm good. 35 degrees according to the bike, 31 degrees compared to, or compared to, according to my outside thermometer. You guys ever get that confused? You ever say thermostat when you want to say thermometer or vice versa? It happens to me sometimes. Okay, greetings YouTube. This is your old pal Mike Kelly 7 coming to you from just south of Raleigh. Heading to work. Old style moto vlog happening right now. My mileage is 26,562. And uh, temperature is like 31 degrees Fahrenheit. And my tire pressure is 35 and 36 respectively. So nothing too bad. But the light will stop blinking as soon as it gets up past around 40. So uh, yeah, it's a nice cool day. I got all my vents open on my jacket, not on the bike. In case anyone gets confused, do you have vents on the bike? No, I don't have vents on the bike. I have vents on my jacket, though. And I'm not even dressed special. I know I'm, I'm kind of squidding it. I got on just regular slip-on loafer kind of things, comfortable. Got on just a regular pair of jeans for my 10-minute ride to work. My visor is only slightly fogged. This, that's the only bad thing about riding in the cold weather for me. Well, there's more than one thing, but that's that's my major complaint. Today is the foggy right side of my visor, even though I have the pin lock. Let me see if I lift this up a bit, will that clear it? Uh, not yet. So, uh, yeah, what's going on? Let's see. So. I've got today and tomorrow to go to work, and then I'll be off for Christmas break. That'll be nice. Do some yard work. Do some uh, moto vlog uh, processing for my big trip. I never really got to. On my new Lenovo solid state laptop. No moving parts. Oh, Jesus, big block of wood in the road. I'm going. I don't know about you, Mr. Truck, but I'm going. So, uh, let's see. Maybe I'll do a shout-out to Bandit Nev. Hey, Bandit Nev. Thank you for watching. Uh, there's a gentleman that said he didn't uh, comment much because he watches it on his 80 inch TV and you can't comment on the TV and I totally get that so hi I can't remember your name I'm very sorry but hello and uh, shout out to GB winging it of course Moose and uh, let's see um, Bodine 
52 Harley Day Rider Bronco Ride. I'm trying to think of other shout outs that I can do this morning because, you know, I'm back now, sort of, after being away for a while. I figure, see, every time I ride the bike now, I'll tell you what my dilemma is. My dilemma is, how do I play my saxophone at school where I'm free to be as loud as I want and stay as long as I need to? How do I do that when I ride the motorcycle to work? Well, I think today what I'll do is I'll ride home at lunchtime pick up the uh, truck and then drive the truck back to work which is only a 10 minute drive and then play the saxophone there you go not a big problem so I'm getting in my motorcycle riding and my saxophone practice on the same day that'll be pretty good Here I'm using the hill as my brake, so I don't have to push my brakes every 10 seconds. Isn't that nice? Okie dokie. I don't see any ice on the road, that's a good thing. Hadn't even thought of that, but yeah, at this temperature, right? I mean, it's been dry the past couple of days, so I'm not overly concerned. Ah, what a nice morning, nice and clear. I like the cold air, it's nice and crisp. My fat ass likes it, yes. I'm not going too far, although I have many a time in the past gone hundreds of miles at very cold temperatures, but uh, you know, no biggie. Some people are just cold natured, I guess, that's me and that guy. Go on, go on and pass, Speedy, Speedy McGee with your dog, aww. So I have no dogs now. My dog Peanut died November 30th. I had to take him in. He had a super duper enlarged heart. And uh, we're, we had him on medicine, but one day uh, he couldn't get up. It hurt. It hurt him to get up. And he was in pain and he was yiping. And so I decided that's it. I'm not having him suffer. No way. So brought him in and let him go. It was very sad, just like Siona in February and Duncan in uh, September of last year. So I don't have any more dogs. And I've made a deal with my sweet pea, no dogs for three years. That way we can travel. And maybe even just weigh whether or not we want to jump into owning a dog again. Because that's a, you know, 10 to 15 year commitment, right? Maybe longer. A little scrape for you there. <laughs> Look at this empty place. boss ain't even here. That's always a good thing. All right. Well, anyway, as I lock up here, this is my Kaylee 7. You guys take care and I'll talk to you later.